Where do you shop? In small local shops? In a large super shop? In a shopping mall? Or online? In tonight's programme, we look at where people shop now and answer the big question Do small shops have a future? The small shop was once an important part of our lifestyle. It was the place where people met to chat and find out the latest news. It wasn't just a place to shop. Then, in the 1970s and 80s, the shopping malls arrived. After that came the super shop, the hypermarket, those large shops out of town where people did their weekly shopping. And of course, there were the financial crashes of the 80s, 90s, and 2008. Finally, there's the internet. Internet shopping became the fashion, the way everyone wanted to shop. Life became very difficult for the small shops as people went online for everything books, music, clothes, food, you name it. But many shop owners don't agree. They say internet shopping isn't the same as the real thing. Big shops and small shops are now more like car showrooms. Shoppers go there to look at, touch and try on products. But do they buy? So what can small shops do to make customers come back? They have to offer something that people can't get anywhere else. Some shops are finding new ways to attract customers. They are having fashion shows, concerts and parties in the shop. And there's click and collect, where you order online and pick things up in the shop. Finally, people are changing. A lot of people don't want to sit at home and shop. They want the lifestyle that small shops can give. The chance to meet people and chat. The chance to get away from the cold world of the internet and feel that shopping has a real human side.